So the Aorus X9 looks like a gaming laptop. With a Core i9 processor in it, well, what can you do with that? The answer? Everything. The Aorus X9 is a whole lot of laptop. It is a 17.3 inch device. It's over eight pounds and over $3,900. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you look at the Aorus X9 is that the lid has kind of a sports car motif. I actually kind of really like it. It's not a stereotypical gamer with like big black and red. It's just this smooth black with some bumps that kind of look like maybe you'd find on like a jet plane or something. Something expensive that I couldn't afford. It's also covered in lights. Well, I see these two lights in the back. There's even more, including here on the spine when you close the notebook, as well as on the edges here. And every single key on the keyboard can be individually customized with the Aorus Fusion app that comes pre-installed. This keyboard, by the way, is mechanical, so it's nice and clicky. They're much better than any membrane keyboard you're gonna find on most laptops, and that extra clickiness feels really good whether you're typing or whether you're gaming. This whole thing with a 17.3 inch display weighs a little over eight pounds, so this is meant to replace your desktop. Maybe you'll move it from room to room, but I don't see anybody playing with this on their lap. It's just way too big. So the 17.3 inch display on the Aorus X9 is really big, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's really good. Now, it's a 144 hertz display, which means you can get really smooth gameplay. And it also is G-Sync, which when paired with the GTX 1080 inside can eliminate screen tearing. But one problem, it's not really all that bright. It measured 243 nits on our light meter, which you know, isn't bad, that's usable, but for something that's $3,900 and we're doing it for gaming and multimedia editing, you want more than usable. This is dim and not all that vivid, and they claim it's Pantone color corrected, but ultimately that didn't seem to do very much here. We really wish that this had a brighter screen that popped more, and it was one of the main drawbacks on this device. So the Aorus X9 is one of the first laptops we've tested with an Intel Coffee Lake Core i9 processor. It's a six core processor and it shows. On our productivity benchmarks, it blew other scores out of the water in tests like Handbrake, where we transcoded video, and in Geekbench 4, which is more of an overall performance test. So if you're not using this as just a gaming laptop, but you're also gonna be streaming or editing video or photos or producing your gaming podcast on this, that's gonna provide a lot of extra oomph for you. Where it doesn't provide all that much extra power is gaming, that's where the GPU takes over. This also is a GTX 1080. It's not two GPUs in SLI like last year's model, but the 1080 is a really powerful card and it'll play any games you want on really high settings. One of the biggest issues I had with this machine is just how hot it gets when you tax it. After about half an hour of gaming, I took a thermometer to the bottom of it and it reached about 131 degrees. That's really hot, even for a gaming notebook. The vents are running all the time. They run really loud when you're gaming, but even when I just had it like sitting on the side of my desk doing nothing with it, the vents were constantly running, making this rattling sound. It didn't really make me feel safe about it, especially because this, this is so much. I was hoping that maybe it would have better thermal management. That doesn't seem to be the case. You can control the fans a little bit with some of the included software, but ultimately it makes a lot of noise and I would not put this on your lap because it just gets way too warm. So what did we think of the Aorus X9 overall? Well, the performance is astonishing. We gave this a three and a half out of five because while the performance is excellent, for something so expensive, we expected a much brighter display and we were hoping that thermal management would be better. So keep this on your desk at all times, and while you know that the fans are gonna be running constantly, at least you'll be getting the best performance you can for a lot of money that you'll be spending. For Laptop Mag, I'm Andrew E. Frieden. <laughs>